read the label by angel. You see nutrition information about a vegetable soup in this table. Let's start with what the label of the good we buy must contain. First of all, it is the name of the product and this way we understand what there is in the package of the product even if it is not transparent. Secondly, all the ingredients that the product contains must be described to guarantee the safe use of the product by people with allergies to certain substances. Then we have to keep an eye on whether the manufacturer's exact data has been written the full name of the company, address and a phone number to contact the company. Another important thing is to write the net quantity weight of the product, either pure product without the packaging. Also, each product must have a batch recognition mark or more commonly known as a barcode. Some products have additional instructions, such as storage conditions, instructions for use. Food products should also contain a table of energy values and, most importantly, a shelf life and date of manufacture. Some products have additional instructions, such as storage conditions, instructions for use. Food products should also contain a table of energy values and, most importantly, a shelf life and date of manufacture. What has to be done under this regulation? All the information about the product and its ingredients should be in one field of vision, visual field, including the shelf life, expiry date. The font should be large enough to read. On bottled products, the information should be printed on the cap, on packed ones on the clip. The allergens should be written explicitly, expressly in a list in a special application. Meat should be purchased with an indication of where it was produced. It is still pondered if this requirement should be applied to the meat and sausages. There shouldn't be misleading advertising tags about the health benefits of the product, the information should be correct and accurate. The information about the presence of food additives and other substances or products with the scientifically proven allergenic or intolerance effect is novelty. This is done in order to enable consumers, especially those suffering from food intolerance or allergies, to make informed and safe for their health choices. These substances or products are in the list of ingredients with their exact names, the layout of which clearly distinguishes them from the other ingredients. For example, in a different font, size or color. The special constituents contained in the food should be labeled with the name of their category followed by their specific name. I made a public opinion poll about whether people read the labels of the goods when they do the shopping with questions such as, how often have you encountered expired products? How often do you read the labels? And so on. It shows that most people read the label and mostly monitor the shelf life. But 100% of the votes have encountered expired goods. Something that may help increase the number of people reading labels is to stick to each product a README sticker with an arrow pointing directly to the label. This will give a certain amount of curiosity and awaken people's interest in reading before buying. It is for this reason that one of the Bulgarian broadcasters broadcast a transmission related precisely to this. And its name is also read the label, it's done in order to make people read the labels more often. These are some data that are quite frightening. Let's start with the first photo, which is of the fakest foods. These are, milk that is diluted with water, chalk, urine and others, honey and maple syrup, which are diluted with water, sugar and antibiotics, coffee and tea to which various additives and coloring agents are added. It is frightening that in total 57 countries have confiscated about 10,000 tons of food and 1 million liters of beverages, for instance, 85 tons of colored olives have been confiscated only from Italy, 10,000 liters of fake alcohol have been seized from Great Britain according to data of Europol. Counterfeiting of food and drinks is done intentionally and deliberately for financial gain. Still in 2011. Leading media reported that plastic rice was made on the Chinese market. The fake rice is made from potatoes and plastic. The data concern countries from Asia and the region, India, Indonesia, China, Vietnam. It is made in the form of rice grains and it is mixed with real rice to increase its quantity. It remains solid after it has been prepared and there is a risk of choking particularly after its consumption by young children. 
Thank you for your attention and do not forget to read the label.